High legends, can this insane bullish momentum that we're seeing here continue here to the upside? In today's live stream, I will take you through exactly where I think we could potentially reject for more downwards momentum and what needs to happen for bullish momentum to continue to the upside. So stay tuned until the very end to not miss out on any alpha. And also remember legends, the three exchanges that I use to do all of my trading, links down in the description where you qualify for the biggest bonuses depending on how much you deposit and trade. It costs you nothing extra and you qualify for the biggest sign up bonuses and lowest fees by using the links down in the description. My favorite exchange that I'm doing most of my trading these days is Bluffin, first link under exchanges, also no KYC required and they also currently offer the largest sign up bonus of up to $80,000. Right legends, let's go analyze the price of Bitcoin together. Looking at Bitcoin here on the two hour time frame, you can see how beautifully this trend has now been respected. An untapped trend that has not been tested since it moved up here, okay? We had a more aggressive trend here to the upside, which we lost and we found some downwards momentum. And then when we came back down, we tapped this trend to perfection, okay? The home line buys that I usually talk about. And this is now currently where we're getting the momentum here to the upside. Yesterday during my live stream, I was discussing this momentum and the possibility of either a fake out to the downside or continuation here to the upside. And then this morning when I woke up, I saw a nice little breakout of this trend that I was watching over here. So ideally from a simplicity perspective, what you would like to see is for us, okay, to stay above the trend, perhaps a retest for continuation here to the upside. Right, legends, let's zoom into this price action over here and see, well, what are the possibilities and probabilities from a longing and shorting perspective? Legends, when I go back here onto the one hour time frame, what I also wanted to highlight here is that this level over here, we had a daily level. And when I switch on my daily level, you can see how beautifully on the one hour time frame, this daily level was respected. Okay, and during my update yesterday, I said it looks like, you know, one, two, three, four, five, you get acceptance back above the daily without a high time frame candle close below. And we can expect that momentum here to the upside. Then I was also looking at this trend over here, which we then successfully broke. We made a higher low and now we find the continuation here to the upside. Right, Legends, so for now, the structure looks nice and bullish. What I do want to point out, Legends, there's one of two scenarios that I am still watching here. So when I go back here onto the 15 minute time frame, two, one of two scenarios that I'm currently watching, Legends, is either, as, and I see we're getting the momentum here to the upside. From a shorting perspective, I am looking at this high for possible swing failure pattern. And I'll share with you in a moment why this could be, okay, a swing failure for more momentum here to the downside. Right, so I want to see how we react when we claim this high. Do we smash through, okay, and then we still have a daily level here at $68,138, or do we swing failure, find some weakness, perhaps do that beautiful retest for continuation here to the upside? Right, legends, the reason I'm a little bit concerned about just longing where we are right now, when I take a FIB extension here from the bottom, to the top of this wave, to the bottom of this wave, okay, you can see that we have found resistance here, consolidation here by the 1.618 level. And for those of you that's been following me for a while, you know how significant this 1.618 level is, okay? This can definitely be an ABC, okay, where we're now completing the final fifth wave here to the upside, where we could potentially swing failure from the high okay and find deeper momentum back to the downside so we're not just out the woods as yet this still looks like it could be a corrective structure here to the upside where you have one two three four five waves inside of your a b c and then you find continuation here to the downside what we would like to see legends is Perhaps, okay, perhaps we do get an SFP here from the high, but then what needs to happen is we need to find support when we bounce on this trend over here, perhaps inside of this consolidation area. What I will also be interested in is if I take the FIP out the way, what we need to look for for long entries to the upside is when I take a FIP from these lows over here to the current high that we have because we haven't created that swing failure pattern yet, okay, this 382 
level really looks great because it has confluence with this consolidation area over here okay so perhaps the retracement won't be that deep the 50 percent also great level okay we this consolidation will offer support this consolidation here by the 382 can also offer support where this will then look if we swing failure from here and we find continuation here to downside and we find support in this area with another leg yet to the upside then this looks really great for bullish momentum to continue because then you officially have a one two three four five wave structure okay inside of this wave and not a three wave structure which is corrective because if we have a swing failure pattern here and we start building berry cbd on the way down and we start tapping here the 0.618 level and we get acceptance back inside the trend things are going to look bad we, we could break down retest this daily as resistance and continue momentum here back to the downside so in summary legends what i'm looking at over here what is quite important is is this an abc which is a three wave structure or is it going to give us that one two three four five and then perhaps a, a b c and continuation back to the upside right legends so we want to see a five wave structure inside of this move okay we want to see a five wave structure to confirm bullish momentum back to the upside because we're not out the woods just as yet when i zoom back here onto the one hour time frame these are basically the two scenarios that i'm currently watching so looking at this entire structure over here you can see when i switch on these two paths okay we need to either find support above the trend and shoot up or we're gonna bounce make a lower high and break the trend for continuation here to the downside also something else that i just want to point out legends is when i zoom here into the four hour time frame and we look at the structure let me just switch off the daily levels clean up the chart a little bit over here what i would like to point out here legends is here on the four hour time frame okay for bullish momentum to almost have that confirmed bullish momentum to the upside you really want this structure to end as high as possible okay so ideally what we would like to see here is bullish momentum continue even claiming the high over here by seventy two thousand dollars right because the higher this structure is okay the safer it makes it from a retracement perspective because if this is the end of the impulse which ends at a higher level the retracement will then retrace inside of bullish territory the lower we end this impulse here to the upside so if this is for for example the end over here and we have what we call an a b c here to the downside it could get really messy okay where you start getting too close to the low here to the downside you start breaking that 786 level you could also potentially get acceptance back outside of the range let me just show you guys clean up the scribble over here when i look at this entire consolidation area that we've been in this is the area that i'm talking about and this is why it's so important that this impulse needs to end as high as possible so you want to see some extreme bullish momentum continue here to the upside if the momentum is finished where we are right now at the moment okay the retracement could potentially take us back outside of the range do you see the danger of this potential retracement over here and the probabilities increase okay you found acceptance back inside the range you rejected by the point of control and now you have acceptance back outside the range which could increase the bearish probabilities to continue momentum here to the downside so the higher this momentum goes here to the upside potentially even claiming the highs here at seventy two thousand dollars it means that the retracement at the golden areas like the six 618 and 786 will still stay inside of the range confirming bullish continuation here to the upside or basically just increasing the bullish probabilities for momentum to continue i hope what i'm saying here makes sense legends but this is the best way that i can possibly explain it okay so in a nutshell we want momentum to still continue here to the upside so that the retracement is still inside of bullish territory thank you so much for watching legends smash up the like and hit subscribe for future notifications also if you'd like to be part of our legends trading community first link down in the description hopefully i'll see you inside until the next one legends cheers for now